just yeah. the last point, because I think what, like, and particularly in relation to uh, Senator Ruan's questions, it really comes down to staffing in the HSC in terms of the waiting lists. And it's something we discussed at the Disability Matters Committee as well. And we did have a joint sitting of these two committees. And I suppose just important to maybe have a kind of, at the end of the discussion, that it's like, that's the crux of the problem. Where does it come from? What are the solutions? And I think a big problem has been the failure of progressing disability services because it's had incredibly bad press, obviously, understandably. And as a result of that, people feel less inclined to go and work in the service. It's what Aileen highlighted about Section 39 workers is absolutely crucial. Yeah. And that's something that could have been addressed by the government of the last budget. So there are kind of solutions here that I suppose we should maybe just focus on and close. I just want to make a quick yeah. point in relation to that, that like, it's an incredibly rewarding sector to work in. And I think it's important that we put that message out yeah. to the committee as well. Absolutely. I worked in disability support services for years and years, and I uh, have never enjoyed a job so much. It's much more enjoyable than this particular <laughs> role. But like, there's a kind of a thing in Ireland at the moment because of the failure of that service and the yeah. changeover to it, it has put people off going into the service. I know from family members who do speech and language therapies, they feel there's better opportunities in the UK. They don't want to be you know, in a service where they don't feel they can provide the service that they were trained to give because the waiting lists are too long and they're trying to do things quicker. And the solution there is obviously addressing things like Section 39 workers, but also if that is the crux of the problem and they're putting all of these resources, Deputy Sherlock highlighted the, how many million going into that recruitment company who are mm -hmm. failing to recruit people, is like perhaps we need to be looking at is it uh, a kind of recruitment campaign of sorts to explain like why the service has gone to the way it is, but actually we need staff in it and here's why, because the future is bright. Or what, like, the fact that there isn't that focus in the HSC is the thing that makes me feel like there's no hope of PDS improving. So just as a final note, perhaps that's what we collectively need to be calling for. This committee, the Disability Committee, yeah. and perhaps... And I think perhaps we should write to the Education Committee to take yeah. on looking at, uh, yeah. in higher yeah. level education in terms of yeah. Yeah. the actual, actual offering of... of yeah. Um, yeah, the yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, so people don't continuously come up and tell the committee how desperate yeah, the situation no, is. It's it. like yeah. that we can start to focus on the solutions. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. it must be very frustrating for the staff yeah. that are working yeah. within the CDNTs and the primary care. Absolutely. And yeah. Who blames them if they no. don't stay? I, I yeah. don't think I could face that. Imagine yeah. investing that recruitment yeah. money in social care workers that are maybe after doing VTAC level fives and sixes yeah. in community and investing in those young people already living in communities yeah. to yeah. actually yeah. work in that area. Yeah. It'd be much better spent much better in the long absolutely. run. Yeah. 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 Like, um, a lot of our kids within, like the adults and the, the, the service provider, they're looking for volunteers to be their shadows and whatever. I even saw an ad on Instagram earlier on um, for someone looking for someone to accompany an adult with Down syndrome from Clonakilty to go to the Field of Dreams to, to undertake their education, but they need someone to travel with them, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not just, so there's something, there's something else, else yeah, in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, simple yeah. things make such a difference. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like either was it Lucy or Olivia suggested that perhaps there could be a shorter training course in particular for paediatric yeah. uh, yeah. speech language therapists. They're all the kind of solutions that perhaps the HSC yeah. need to be looking into. OT, as well, like OT is the yeah. main one yeah. for yeah. OT is, is, is a huge it's a huge one. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Did you must study yeah. for it. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, um, so it's been a really good um session and I think just like um I think that was there were some good points.